My name is Jacob Larson. We usually work as pad leader when we're out on uh, launches, and then I do quite a bit of production and organization here in the workshop. I am uh, a Master of Science from the Technical University of Denmark, and specializing in, in electronics and electrical engineering. I uh, work as a systems engineer at uh, Rosing, specializing in, in checkout and test equipment for satellites primarily. Actually, CS is the reason why I uh, I actually got a day job in the in the actual space business. Someone was looking to fulfill a position I currently hold, and that person was looking around trying to figure out where do you get space people in Denmark um, for this job. Suddenly, I ended up getting a phone call from this uh, person instead, and suddenly I. Uh, I got an, an offer I, I simply couldn't turn down. At the moment I'm doing several different things in, D, in CS uh, depending on, on, on what the situation is. About a year ago I opted for becoming a board member and, and ended up being the, uh, the vice chairman of, uh, of CS. That, that of course give, means that I'm spending uh, somewhat more time now on organizational stuff, formalities, insurances, uh, budgets, organization of the society and the projects and, and which direction we're going and, and how we're doing more and more not into the specific solutions but into how we can manufacture and produce all the parts that I can see coming for when we need to do the the very huge uh, speaker rockets I've been so fortunate to be able to uh, to hold the position of uh, pad leader for uh, the two launches of Nexo 1 and Nexo 2 I am the the extended eyes and ears of our flight at the uh, deck of the uh, launch platform Sputnik. So getting the rocket ready, going through the hundreds of steps in the checklist. Finally, I uh, am the last guy to, uh, to leave the launch platform. Everyone around me knows that, uh, that CS has over the years taken on a, a significant part of my uh, of my existence um, I've done it mostly uh, I've done it simply and purely because I love it there is nothing else I could walk away from it but at this point I'm I'm starting to be a little bit fearful of what else would I be doing um, because a CS as a hobby doesn't really compare to any other hobbies anymore I am frankly afraid that I would grow immensely bored. You can solve any problem if you have enough money. And uh, since CS doesn't, but still has a number of established problems to solve in getting a man to space, we are simply forced to rethink many solutions and many options completely. Uh, not only to find the, uh, the cheaper solution, but in many cases also to find the simpler solution, because those two usually go hand in hand. So, watching CS doing space, uh, space travel is, is a completely different ball game from the established uh, fabric of, of commercial space business. CS has a very nice track record of of not having accidents uh, with all the testing and flying and, and um, handling of, of, of rocket propellants that we're doing. And we, we choose to believe that is because we have a lot of experience in it and that we are, that we're taking care both of each other and about what we're doing. Again, as everyone knows with rocketry, you can do as many equations, as many simulations, as many statistics as you want, but spaceflight and rockets just does not become safe. It's just like uh, jumping out of an airplane with parachute. It's uh, completely legal. Um, the failure or the accident rate is, is low and uh, people do it for recreational purposes. And we have to adopt the same 
idea, the same mindset like throwing someone out of an airplane with a parachute. We have to try this enough times, get enough coherent data pointing to one way that this is safe to send someone flying with this machine, or we won't do it. The golden question is always, well, when, when is it ready? Is it two years, is it five years, is it eight years? And frankly, we can't answer that. We, uh, we are building as quickly and flying as much as possible as we can, but we have to see it flying several times flawlessly before we even start contemplating if it's safe enough or not. And then someday we're gonna have a very, very long closed meeting where we'll be sitting down, all of us, and there will be, everyone will be encouraged to speak up if they can see any reason whatsoever why we shouldn't fly the next one manned. And that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very, very emotional time for seers when we reach us this time because by then it's serious and we'll be we'll be betting the whole board here on the other hand I can't say I'm not looking forward to that day where we will have to go out of that meeting room out into the sunshine and knowing next time it's for real CS is doing rocketry at a shoestring budget. Uh, it's laughable compared to the established business. And we are immensely thankful for all you supporters that uh, help us do it, make this possible. So please keep on donating. Please uh, donate to Cops Up. And if you know anyone, maybe even a business that might think this is a crazy and cool project that you can get in on it, try them as well. The speaker project is huge and you guys are the ones helping us realizing it.